If you do enough Googling, you can find information on a couple of different versions of what is known as the Hall of a Thousand Mirrors. Now, I've, I've found some people who say it's a myth, while others give evidence for a couple of different halls with that particular name. But whatever it is, the picture is one that's very easy to get into your mind because it is just what it sounds like it is. It is a large hallway covered with mirrors of all shapes and sizes, a thousand of them. And describing what it would be like to enter that hallway, listen to what one writer said. He wrote, quote, You enter, a thousand hands are stretched out to greet you. You smile, and a thousand smiles greet your smile. You weep, and a thousand eyes weep with you. But they are all your own hands and smiles and tears. End quote. May I suggest to you that that picture is an apt description of a person who is caught up in pride especially after some time has passed. You see, after some time, the person who is prideful is completely engrossed in himself or herself. The only reflection, if you will, they see is what they would do themselves and think everyone else should do and act the same way. What they don't see is that they're imprisoned by it all. They only see themselves, even in other people, because they are so caught up in pride. But if they can come to their senses... What they will come to realize is that it's just them. They are alone. Because other people will not put up with that type of arrogance and pride for very long. And it's sad. Because then the reflection in the mirror will be a clear reminder that all along, they were really alone. And so today, and every day, let's keep our central focus on more than just ourselves and let's seek to see and help others while admitting our own faults and weaknesses because it's not all about me.